Hello again, it is Alex and James from Barefaced and we have two more bases to try out with the new 310 and the excellent and inimitable Super Twin. That's our 12XN beast that's rather good at being loud yet quite convenient in size. Can you see it better there? There we go. And uh, this is our fat, warm, more coloured you could say retro sounding, but I don't think it really is. No, I wouldn't say so. No, it's good. They're, they're both good at lots of things, and it's really a question of matching bass and amp and player to the cab that then fits in the band they're playing in, or bands or gigs or whatever, um, and getting the right output and tone. So you may find that, say, the two of us were playing in the same band, we might be using all the same gear but we actually prefer different cabs and everyone in the band is fine with us using different cabs because we're just going for a slightly different result in the mix like I seem to lean more towards the 12XNs and James towards the... definitely more towards the 10CRs yeah. so there we go we've got a watt plower so 30 inch <coughs> short scale it's a humbucker at the neck or a standard P or a reverse P, which are pretty much in standard P and reverse, well, certain standard P position. Passive, and then custom five string, which is a through neck, chambered body. This is a set neck, so yeah, they're quite different animals. And um, this has Q tuners, which are approximately a P bass and jazz pace positions. And that's also passive with a four way pickup switch, um, which gives us neck, series, parallel and bridge. So there's a lot of options there. Um, and that's the 36 drop tuned down to A, so it's in A standard. So I always forget where that, what actually, what does that make it? A, P, D, G, yeah. C, F. F. F on the top, yeah. It really suits being down a, a, a tone. Yeah. That surprised me how it just feels really good there. Again, essentially it's a fret longer than a normal bass, so that does make sense. And this is two frets shorter than a normal bass. So these are popular now, aren't they, short scales? Yeah. So, right. I'll let James operate the bass, I will operate the plywood. And we are currently going through the Super Twin. Super Twin, clean. Ooh. Let's see where the tweeters are. So both these cabs have tweeters, but they're optional. Don't see the point of selling you a cab without with a tweeter in it if you're never ever going to use it, and a lot of bassists don't ever need it. strings but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry I'm quite rusty on five strings as well they do what we expect them to do yeah if you've seen any other of these videos you'll see that what we keep noticing as the consistent thing between the 12xn's and the 10cr's is I feel you have a real 
immediacy to the 12s and a transparency and a cleanness and the 10s are a bit slower to happen relatively and a bit thicker and a bit fatter. I thought that sounded really good when going low, yes. didn't you? Yeah. yeah. It brought a lot of yeah, it's got the, weight the right. to it, yeah. which was really nice. We're just running through a power amp essentially into this. We're going straight into the pedal forward using a Peterson Strobo stomp as a buffer. And right now it's bypassing all of my massive pedal board, going straight into a power stage to run the cab. So there's no EQ. It's all completely clean. Um, yeah, that was cool. Should we got well? I'll tell you what, I'll hop, I'll change I'll change base. We'll keep the human the same, and I shall arm you with this. Can I play this? No. no. Let's go straight from one base to another. Yeah. What pickup settings are you on on that? On that, that's the. So you're on the series? Yeah. Yeah, that's really fat sounding, isn't it? Right. I'm just going to hold the bass to make me feel comfortable. Sounds better on the Super Twin, don't you think? I do think quite a lot of the time we bassists end up using lots of different gear to get to approximately the same place. Yes. So with this super clear, super big sounding thing, you then take it for a cab that makes it warmer and fatter mm -hmm. and a bit more controlled and juicier. Whilst with this fat, round, slightly boomy little thing, you yeah. put it through a cab that's a lot tighter and clearer. Yeah. And you kind of come from different places and converge in that place where bass works best. I mean, you certainly can go in more divergent places. I know when I'm playing this, I tend to go off into very deep or very high or very clean or very gnarly, whatever. Um, I want to try that because I want to hear how my fingers sound on it. Because So still with fingers, I'm not going to change any settings. Um, yeah, well, so you just had the volume up, didn't you? Yes. And you're on the, oh, you're on the neck pickup. Yes.
have changed pickup at some point. I think you did, yes. Yeah. So I was getting carried away waving change. my hands about. Um, it's. I don't know if any of you guys swap between short or normal or extra long scale. So you just have a 34 inch yeah. normal fender base. Um, I think they make you play differently and I don't think they... Well, so this is how it is for me. I don't think they make me play differently because it's easier to get around. Yeah. I think I play differently because the envelope of the sound, the way the yeah. sound is. It makes that makes me want to go. It would feel wrong doing that on, on the short scale. Yeah, I think long scales attack harder. Yeah. The longer the scale, the more it goes BAM! Like that. Studio y vibes, studio yeah. session bassy vibes. This. Sounds more like. This is warmer and. Th yes. And more live and like you're in the room with it. Yeah. And this. It's coming into your headphones. to anyone who's actually good at playing with a pick, I don't <laughs> do it. Um, I've been pl started playing guitar this year and been discovered that that's easier with a pick, so yeah, that is cool. Right, pick. Should we turn the tweeter up? Yes. And do you know what? It won't make any difference on this watt power, <laughs> but we'll just quickly check because the watt power does not have a lot of top end. It'll make a bit, but... Very strange bass to slap on because there's a pickup completely in the way of the popping finger, so you kind of there's a little gap there, but it doesn't really get you to the
It just adds a bit of attack, doesn't it? Yeah. Just a bit of the sound of finger on string. You might like it, you might not. When you were slapping, I felt like the 10 inch drivers were, were doing a better job of yeah. creating. I think they naturally give you a bit of that sort of slappy sort of scoop. Yeah. Because this lets everything through. I think you can totally EQ that. Talk. Personally, I quite like slap sounds that are quite present and gnarly through the mids. Yeah. So I would lean that way. I wonder what this is like with a bit of dirt. Yeah. Uh, let's go he heavy. Let's, yeah. let's turn the tweezers down. <laughs> Most people don't like tweezers with dirt. I do. I'm strange. different when you put the dirt yeah. on. Just so you know what we're playing through, that was a machinist with the f fuzz set to a fairly scooped thin fuzz and the distortion set to something quite gnarly. I'll show you, this is the distortion on its own. And the fuzz on its own. But what I then did, you'll notice there was a sort of the clanking change, I just rolled the Tone off on the yeah. bass, so that's with the tone up because it's got a clean blend, and that we've letting the clean blend through with all the treble, so you've got it. Turn them back on. All the clacks coming through. The tone rolled off. That's quite cool. Makes yeah. a bit difference in in vibe. They're really different animals when dirty. Yes, very much so. You prefer that? Or yeah, that? I still prefer with the dirt. Yeah, definitely that. Yeah. Well, so I prefer this, because uh, it, yeah. it kind of pushes the entire rest of the band out of the way, takes over the whole mix, and you can just have that, and the singer and the guitarist can go to hell, which is where my band has ended up, that the guitarist has never even arrived, so, <laughs> so be it. Do you want to give the, uh, the big thing a whirl? Yes. And try some of the slappy sort of stuff, and pick as well? Yeah. Infinite possibilities. Right.
the tweeter halfway up, well, all the way up and then halfway up, because most people don't want dirt through a tweeter. I do it, um, but most people don't. It tends to sound, make distortion, overdrive sound like distortion and distortion sound like fuzz and fuzz sound like synth. So that, that's <laughs> kind of my experience with it, but see how it sounds. Try a hint of tweeter. Uh, let's try halfway and then try a hint. So I'm kind of curious. Let's see if that gets into a good place. They're much more similar with the tweeters on, aren't they? Yeah. Fancy slapping a five string? Or a pick on a five string? Series still. Series. Stick it on parallel. Sorry, the yeah. Well, I know I used to be alright at it, but I've got an acoustic bass at home and you can't slap on them because it sounds horrific. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Right, we better stop there because we've got a couple of minutes before the camera cuts out because it won't go past half an hour and then we have to stick two together and that's annoying. And anyway, who wants to watch half an hour of this? Now you may do if you're trying to decide between not just a 310 and a Super Twin, but any of our 10CR models and any of our 12XM models because they basically have the same sort of character. It just add more speakers, they get a bit fatter sounding, they get a bit thicker sounding? Maybe it, you think they get deeper sounding, but generally it's more that they're louder and it fools you with that. They certainly, yeah, they get fast sounding because of the way the acoustic coupling works. Um, and conveniently, these are the only models we have where the 12XN and the 10CR models are basically identical in size, identical in portability. That's slightly lighter, but that's got bigger handles, so it's, I don't think, yeah, it's six one half a dozen of the other. Just choose the one that sounds right. They've, They'll both go loud, this will go a little bit louder, but you're talking, you need a big amp to get this bit, the extra bit louder than that. They're cool and you have them with, with or without tweeters. I mean, this is particularly comically light if I just, there um, we go. There we go. 1200 watts, can replace an 810 that. Isn't it marvellous? <laughs> Great. It's really nice to have a Bayface 10CR model that has everything that's great about a Super Twin, but with a different tonal colour. Yeah. Fills a really satisfying niche in terms of loudness, portability, yeah, head matching, yeah, what you want. You better go, we've got seconds left. Cool. Thank you. It's been James. This is the other James. Tall man. And Alex, he's, he's smaller today, <laughs> from <laughs> Bad Face. We will see you next time. Um, next year, maybe. maybe. Depending on when this video goes out. Maybe this year. Maybe we're in the past. Maybe we're in the future. I don't know. Goodbye. <laughs>